Okay, so today was, uh, woo! <laughs> Alright, um, ah, uh, I really don't even know where to begin. Not to mention I'm a little groggy today. Um, hopefully everyone had a great Taco Tuesday. Yesterday I ended up having some, uh, shrimp tacos and a couple Modellos. Uh, I actually had a little bit too many Modellos. I definitely felt it this early, early this morning. Um, David Mitchery, brother, 83.7 mil, according to Benzinga? Uh, yeah, is this really true? Well, let's see how many Mullen shares, and you didn't buy any shares, okay. So, we went ahead and got this out of the way. Um, we're gonna be doing some daily updates, or daily update on Mullen. Firstly, um, I now have, uh, 18 sexy and awesome subscribers. Um, appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Hopefully you enjoy my content. Um, videos are still getting a, a relatively amount of views, so, I mean, people are definitely, it's, uh, look, I am, it's, I am, um, I gotta do a separate video on why I'm, even though I've said this repeatedly, you, you can rewatch, you, you can watch the past, like, 30 of my videos to get a gist of, of who I am, why I'm covering Mullen, but I will be making... A solid video just on that but things keep popping up because I, I do have quite a bit of videos to cover but it's um it's not going well uh I, I mean you don't have to be a rocket science to I, I mean you you don't even have to know price action you don't even have to know moving averages you don't even have to know you can just you can just like look at a Robin Hood a line chart and just zoom out and just be like, yo, like this past month has not been, it's not been good. But uh, we got no new SEC filings. We got absolutely no news today. Um, market cap is inaccurate, according to Stock Titan. Uh, let me check. Uh, where are you? One second. Where, where do you go? Ah, there we go. Let me just double check Robinhood really quickly. Uh, it's what's the market cap? Uh, oh, that's even. This is just absolutely just insanity. Eighteen point nine seven million market cap according to Robinhood. I'll say this again: eighteen point nine seven million. That is just. That is just mind blowing, mind blowing, absolutely just mind blowing. Uh, market cap on Weeble is the same, 18.97. So, okay, so stock time is inaccurate. Market cap is below. That is just, that is just absolutely crazy. Just absolutely just, but let's, let's not talk anymore about this. Okay. Um, I do want to show the charts really quickly. Then I would like to, um, um, uh, we are on the wrong chart. Where are we? Ah, uh, there we go. Um, show the charts really quickly, and then I want to show about the, then I want my the main the main talking point in this video is going to be about this article that got released two days ago. I, I kind of overlooked it. Um, what, one of you all actually, uh, it's, uh, what what are we calling Twitter these days? Twitter, Titty, uh, X, whatever. One of you all sent it my way, and thank you. And um, I, I actually didn't see it. But I do want to talk about it. Okay, so we're on the one minute time frame. All of our pivot levels once again today is below the all time low, and Mullen has made new all time lows. Go, which is just. And then tomorrow, I guarantee you that all these pivot levels are going to be below the all time low again. It's just, um, it's insanity. Um, a lot of you people out there may not actually like this, but I mean, hey, it's it just it's it's. It is what it is. The charts don't lie. What was going on here? Okay, there we go. Charts do not lie. Um, currently, I am holding a small position of Mullen. Um, anyone who does not know, I've been pulverized by Mullen. I uh, invested in Mullen from March of 22 all the way until May of 2023. Sold a big bag for a loss. And ever since May of last year, after the first reverse stock split... All I've been doing is uh, swinging Mullen, which 50% of the time I I, I take losses. Um, and I day trade Mullen when Mullen releases good news, which means the news gets dropped. 
Um, typically, I wait for confirmation that the stock is moving up, buy in, and I take away either 5, 10, sometimes I get a higher percent day trade. That's what day trading is. You buy and sell in the same day. It could be a matter of minutes. It could be maybe as long as an hour. Typically, you don't want to be in a day trade longer than like an hour. I, I've never actually been in a day trade longer than that before. But um, either way, um, I was holding a small position. I ended up selling two-thirds of my position today for a loss. The last two times that I have been swinging Mullen, I have now sold for a loss. Um, I was actually swinging Mullen right after the reverse stock split. Um, and I ended up walking away with, with actually some decent profits, but then, uh, a little over a month ago, I started entering, uh, high sixes, low sevens, got pulverized, ended up selling out of that position completely a little over a week ago, I believe. And then now I just take another loss and what it's it, it just, it's really one of those things. A lot of people are just really done with Mullen. That's what it comes down to. Um, you can, I mean, look, th this could very well be shorts. This could very well be retail. Um, but I can definitely say that I, I definitely, I ended up selling two thirds of my position on this rebounce up here. Um, dipped all the way down, waited for the, waited for the small bounce up. I actually thought it was maybe going to bounce over the S2, but it did not. We just trickled down with like little to no volume and uh yeah i mean it just it was it was not a good morning but either way about it <clears throat> um i'm actually doing very well in every other position out there and so so is that like any anyone that anyone you talk to you ask them they're like hey are you making money right now well it's firstly it's a bloodbath right now in the overall stock market because of um middle eastern fears inflation st fl fears still but for the most part, like, even my other positions that I'm currently swinging, I'm adding to those positions because they're, they're decent. Co what, one, what one company right now um, that, that I'm currently picking up, which I believe is a discount, is SoFi, uh, S-O-F-I, -S profitable company. They, they, they've just, because of CPI and also Middle East uh, nonsense, um, they're being beaten down, but... I mean, their earnings is right around their corner. They're a profitable company. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm I'm going to be gambling, uh, especially on their earnings. Um, another one is Palantir. Uh, they're red today too. I ended up taking, uh, uh, grabbing some shares also. So, other companies that are bleeding, like it's a it's it's not swinging. Those type of companies are much better to be down on a position but with mullen i mean it's uh it's the same old story different day um sSDD not sure if uh there's any Stephen King fans out there uh dreamcatcher love the movie oh Morgan Freeman Freeman was so good in that movie too there was actually a lot of really well-known actors in that movie dreamcatcher if you haven't seen that movie highly recommended the book is even better little over 600 pages i've actually read the book uh two times amazing book also um there's a thing that stephen king uses in the book it's called ss ssdd same shit different day well this is mullen ssdd literally ssdd um but yeah i mean we got no news the overall market is just i mean yeah i mean you you, you if you are a short out there um yeah i mean you're you're definitely definitely capitalizing but okay so that's really for the chart the only positive thing this is the only positive thing at all is when we go to the daily time frame so each one of these candles is one day i've been talking about this now for the last couple videos if we look at the keltner channel um we are below the bottom band now vice versa if we were above the, so so these these bands the keltner channel is this middle line these bands the upper band and lower band there it's the entire keltner channel is basically um composed of moving averages just like exponential moving averages simple moving averages which is just basic moving average but 
if you go ahead and look at all these um or or just what stocks have done before in the past whenever a stock gets too far away from a moving average it has to come back you gotta pull it back um let's go ahead and look at the spy on the daily time frame really quickly and, I, and i'll maybe what the what the hell is going on <laughs> okay okay trading view what are you doing why did my screen just like take a take a crap on me hold on one second all righty i really don't know what happened but i found a really better example a, a better example better than spy so this is the one minute time frame take away the one minute time frame and just look at the candlesticks um, this stock is up uh, 240% today. Uh, massive runner. So look at this. Look at look at this area, right? These are these lines are e exponential moving averages. So we got the nine, we got the 21, we got the 48, and we got the 200. Look what happens here when you are too far away from the exponential moving average. If you notice. So, so the way that you can day trade and the way that I day trade is I look at these moving averages as, as magnets. The farther you go away from a moving average, it's going to have to come back. So would it be wise to enter a day trade in this area? No, it would not. Um, this would be a bad area to really enter in. Would it be wise to enter into an area down here where all your moving averages are pointing up and you have a lot of room to get away from a moving average yes however if you are going to enter a trade in this area over over here in, in in this area in this region it's very far away there, there's a lot of gap between the moving average so if you sway away you're going to have to come back eventually. And as, and as you notice, we do. We ended up pushing far away, and then we ended up coming back. And then we consolidated. We pushed up again. We pushed away from the moving average. And then we ended up pulling back to the exponential moving average. And then we tried to... It's, it, it just it continues. That That's technical analysis 101. So, Mullen, we are way below... The, the the low we we are way below and it's also vice versa um we we could also look at you could look at any stock any stock in your free time the rsi is extremely low i i i, I cannot predict the future and i i do not want to make any predictions all that i all that i will say is this if we get the right news mullen can can go it it, it has so much room it has so much room all the way from being at 24 RSI in the daily time frame. That's absolutely just terrible. Um, all this all this way down. The Keltner channel is at $4.23. That is... That is... Uh, what is that? That is 40%-ish? Uh, 40, 40 so, so it's, it's really... It comes down to news. It comes down to to David. It comes down to the leadership. Um, if Mullen is going to do something, it comes down to that. But I will say this because, as I stated before, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a young trader. If if you see that Mullen drops epic news and Mullen ends up running 60, 70, or maybe 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 even even 40, 60, 80, 100 percent. If you don't if you don't sell on that pump you're 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 it's it's mullen is not investable it's not an investable company right now we're just being i mean if, if you invested if you invested a thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand dollars uh one month ago you're you would be down uh to chinatown you're talking yeah it just it, like like it's no it's mullen is not a investable company not an investable company a tradable company with good news Yes, a tradable company. Trade a bull. I, I, I really apologize if, if that irritates someone, but sometimes you gotta just hear the truth.
But um, yeah, I mean, if we get good news, then hey. But we didn't get anything today, so that's that. That is on the company. That is on the leadership of the company, and that is going to be on forever them. Okay, so this was the article that was sent my way, and if you type in Google MUL MUL in stock and go and click on news, it's actually one of the first articles up there. Um, I I kind of overlooked it. Um, just because it's not official PR from Mullen itself, it's a outside news source. But I mean, if you are a bear short on Mullen, this is just you know driving your well. Um, being a bear, you may not be pro pro um, capitalizing on being a bear, but if you're shorting out there, then uh, this article definitely adds fuel to your fire. But Mullen stock, Mullen's collapsed from 725 million to near zero. And the reason why that I'm covering this article is because typically whenever an article typically whenever an article comes out like this against a company, you you see good leadership and good management out there pretty much come out with a, a statement to shareholders saying, hey, we understand, you know, it's tough times, blah, blah, blah. But hey, we got this, we got this, we got this going for us. We got this going for us. Mullen has really just been silent in the last two days. And, and this article might be one of the contributing factors of why Mullen is just really just plummeting. Um, we are just absolutely on a death spiral. Unbelievable. Uh, stock price continues a strong sell-off because of one of the worst performing electric vehicle companies. The Wall Street plunged over 70% this year and by 99% in the past 12 months. No shit. Only uh, Fisk, Fisk, Fisk er, it's hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Fisk, Fisker, uh, which was delisted by New York Stock Exchange, has performed worse. So... If you don't know what ended up happening, this this it, just very tragic. They 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 didn't even end up they, they didn't even end up doing a reverse stock split. There there was nothing. Um, they had a they had an article. That it's literally saying, hey, they're running out of money for the year. They're facing uh, bankruptcy, and then boom, stock price down seventy percent in one day. It was halted, um, and then the the New York Stock Exchange just straight up delisted them. They, they didn't even say to them, hey, do you want to do a reverse stock split? Nothing. I, I, I am praying that that's not the case for Mullen. And I really am hoping that these vehicles are massively selling. More than you can imagine. But, I mean, there's just no news. This article came out two days ago, which was um, Monday, which the stock market was going to most likely be read because of the uh, attacks in the Middle East over the weekend. But yeah, there's no response from the company. Nothing. Uh, 75 Mullins, is, um, Bunny Electric Vehicle Company, has had dramatic, that's an understatement, dramatic fall, understatement. Dramatic fall would be like Tesla right now at 156. That is dramatic. If you got into Tesla a, a little over a month, a month ago, around 200, Yes, you're down about 25% on a mega cap big company out there. That is dramatic. What Mullen has done is not dramatic. It is the motherfucking apocalypse of being a shareholder. Um, so that is definitely an understatement right there. Uh, market valuation plummeted. Uh, yep, in this period, investors allocated funds. There, there, there's probably... There, I would not be surprised. If, if Mullen... If Mullen comes out saying saying that they're filing bankruptcy, I there's going to be lawsuits, man. That's just a few stakeholders have made money, even as investors have lost their money. Stakeholders, probably most likely people that have shorted this stock. Uh, company insiders have been compensated. Yes, that is very true. The CEO was sued by a group of shareholders after it's uh, out, uh, allocated 260 mil to uh, CEO David Mitchery. Uh, that's very true. Um, Elms uh, bidded. Okay, so this talks about how Mullen acquired. Downfall happened because of Sancho Cashburn. Ongoing woes in the EV sector industry. No shit. I got to make a separate video. Financial results made three. Okay, so this is actually... So this is like the only real area that I somewhat disagree in because 
So Mullen got paid 366k in revenue um because they had old Elms vehicles that they got paid for. However, here's the thing, or actually maybe I should read on this article. Orders should have been taken to grain of salt, more dealers. Okay, hang on. Uh, Mullen, few options show a quarter, 83 million cash. Debt financing, high interest rates will not be easy. No shit. Unlike in January, predicting the Fed. Yep, the Fed's not going to do that. Mullen stock for it. For, yeah, this is absolutely just sad. Um, do, 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 shares, volume. Is there anything else? Therefore, I have warned before, believe the path to resistance down where my target for the stock is zero. Uh, yeah, if we go ahead and take away all the reverse stock splits, this stock is trading actually near like crypto levels. Okay, so the only thing about this article that I'll basically pretty much say is, so um, this article does not have how much money they have invoiced Randy Marion. It's so... So Mullen, to my knowledge, has invoiced Randy Marion um, $17.5 million, I believe. Let's let me let me take it, let me take a quick look at this really quickly. And and I will be making a video because something is not right. Mullen has been dropping news two, three times a week. And then March 14th, nothing for over two weeks. And now we're now they're just silent. Um so I do want to make a video. Okay, so provide timeline. Randy Marion, where are you? Um, I, I believe it's $17.5 million. Let's see. Emphasize commercial segment. Cargo. Do, 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 do. Okay. This is basically all fluff news. Where are you? Strongest. Uh, maybe it's in here. Their earnings. Um... Cash spent. What about invoicing? Spend on invoicing. Positive. I I know it's in here. Anyways, if I can't find it, it it has to be somewhat here. You see, Mullen. It's tons of news. Mullen's making great strides. Randy Mary. Maybe it's this one. Uh, what the? You stupid mother effer. Okay, stock titty. What is your problem? Ah, here it is, here it is, here it is. $17.3 million. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Okay. So, what have we noticed? Well, Mr. Invoice $17.3 million, this has been going on almost uh, three months now. I mean, I... I, I do not have a automobile industry background at all, but I can just go ahead and say from a common sense point of view, if these vehicles are the only on the market, and if you invoice this company from over two and a half months ago, I shouldn't this invoice kind of be collected in a way? So... I am hoping and praying that Mullen just drops amazing PR saying, hey, we just collected 17.3 mil, uh, 17, 17, 3, 18 mil uh, US dollars, baby. That would be awesome. There's a lot of red flags here, and um, I do want to make separate videos, but the only thing we really got to do is just just wait. Um, I'm going to leave leave this video here on this note. Tomorrow, if Mullen does drop news, I'll be making an earlier video. If they don't drop news, I'll probably be making another video in the afternoon. Um, if you are still holding Mullen on a gigantic loss, just understand that there are other stocks out there. And I chose to actually learn how to be a trader last year when I got my ass kicked by Mullen. Take an ass kicking and learn from it. Um, do not lose faith in yourself and do not lose faith in your ability to make money in the stock market. Don't let Mullen end your potential stock like career in, in a way it's, I, it's, it, it's, I, I don't know if anyone's watching my videos that are, that are actual traders, just investors, or, you know, you can definitely comment about what type of background you are, but just don't let, don't let Mullen win. 
if Mullen is a big bad bully to your capital, don't let the big bad bully win. Um, but we just really got to wait and see. Otherwise, um, hof hopefully everyone ha is going to have a great rest of the day and uh, Wednesday. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.